Today, we saw the first debate between candidates running to be the next president of the United States. And the winner was the guy who didn't actually turn up, Donald Trump, who's getting stronger every time the Democrat prosecutors charge him with some crime alleged. Eight other Republicans did show up at the first Republican debate, but Trump blew them all out of the water by doing an interview instead with Tucker Carlson that aired at the same time on Twitter, now known as X, and got an amazing 74 million viewers in the first half hour. Why aren't you at the Fox News debate? I'm leading by 50 and 60 points. And, you know, some of them are at one and zero. And uh, do I sit there, get harassed by people that shouldn't even be running for president? Now, that didn't mean that the debate itself was pointless. Uh, it showed that the man touted as Trump's big challenger, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, said, well, I just lacks presidential gravitas. And almost none of the other candidates even dared to say they wouldn't back Trump to be president, even if he is convicted on charges that he tried to steal the last election. If former President Trump is convicted in a court of law, would you still support him as your party's choice? Please raise your hand if you would. Only one candidate, former UN ambassador Nikki Haley, had the guts to criticize Trump on policy because it's so popular with the party. Donald Trump added $8 trillion to our debt, and our kids are never going to forgive us for this. But what we did see in this battle of the also-rans was the rise of Vivek Ramaswamy. He's a health entrepreneur with absolutely zero political experience but he sure can hit every bullet point of the Republican populist right. God is real. There are two genders. Fossil fuels are a requirement for human prosperity. Reverse racism is racism. An open border is not a border. Parents determine the education of their children. Actually, I kind of like some of those points. But all that made the contest more between him and former Vice President Mike Pence, who's an old-style Republican in a party that might actually now be a little bit radical, moved on from, from him. And the two repeatedly juked it out. I'm the only person on the stage who isn't bought and paid for, so I can say this. The climate change oh, whoa, 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 whoa. agenda oh, whoa, whoa. is a hoax. Oh, wow. The climate this change is agenda is a hoax. Is and we have to declare independence for it. And the reality is the anti-carbon agenda is the wet blanket on our economy. And so the reality is more people are dying of bad climate change policies than they are of actual climate change. Governor, now is not the time for on-the-job training. We don't need to bring in a rookie. We don't need to bring in people without experience. Okay, we need to bring... Well, there's a dark side to this debate. Well, maybe it's good because Ramaswamy actually was the only one of the eight candidates who was so stupid and reckless to say he'd cut off USAID to Ukraine and just let Russia have its way. Thank God for that. Join me for his take on the debate and on Trump's interview with Tucker Carlson is Rick Gates, who was deputy chair of Donald Trump's first and successful campaign to become president. Rick Gates, thank you so much for joining me after going through A, the Republican debate, and then B, Trump's interview with, uh, with Tucker Carlson, two very different events uh, running almost simultaneously. Um, let's start with the debate. Uh, I, I thought it was fascinating. It was very fiery. Clearly, they're all scrabbling to try to be relevant with Trump actually dominating all the headlines and probably the eyeballs. Who came out on top? Yeah, Andrew, great to be with you. It was a busy day. Um, you know, in overall, you have to frame the debate in a way of who had the most to gain, who had the most to lose. A lot of eyes were on Ron DeSantis. Uh, a lot of people thought he was going to be attacked quite a bit. Uh, I didn't think he necessarily was able to connect with a lot of people. A lot of his sound bites sounded scripted. Uh, he had been working with a debate coach, and his flow and feel just didn't really go well together. Uh, I thought one of the interesting correlations was um, a number of times Mike Pence and Vivek Ramaswamy, both representing kind of the old guard and the new guard, uh, new generation, uh, were contrasting with each other on a multitude of issues. And I think that was 
a good glimpse into what the American people could see versus somebody that's been sitting at the vice presidency. He was governor, had a lot of experience versus a complete outsider, uh, a multimillionaire entrepreneur who has very little political experience. And I thought the two of them contrasted to give the American people a good view of the type of Republican candidates that were on stage tonight. Totally agree with you. I thought Ron DeSantis uh, looked completely out of it, like uh, a man on his way out. Uh, and Pence came up to uh, exactly that. It was a, a Pence versus a, a Ramaswamy thing.